Welcome back YouTube, it's Max Civil. I have an amazing recipe for you guys. I have a vegan recipe to share with you and I have an omnivore recipe. My taco, a healthier version of a taco style delicious lunch that you can make. It's a quick and easy recipe for you to follow. It only takes 30 minutes for you to make the omnivore version of this recipe. Made the same way, but the only difference is I added ground turkey. So stay tuned, get ready for this quick and easy recipe. She don't know I got the trap on I like oh, They don't know I got the trap on I like These are the ingredients that I'm going to use to make my what what should I call this? Taco style bean. I have a half of this is a half of red onion that I already cut in half. That way when I use the ground turkey I can just I'm not gonna use this knife. I'm just gonna chop. Cut the ends off of this red onion and peel this layer off. Peel that eight layer off and then slice and chop. Now I already have my pan preheated and this is going to go in the pan with the ground turkey. Already sprayed the pan with non-stick spray. Go in this pan that's going to be for the ground turkey. The red onions are in there and I'm going to chop up the garlic clove and this other half of the red onions for the beans. This is going to be for the vegan style beans. this to the pan where the beans are gonna go in. I have my little spatula. This is the season that I like to use. This should take no longer than 30 minutes to cook everything that I'm showing you now. I'm adding, let's see, that's two and a half tablespoons. Two and a half tablespoons of the sazon. Now this pan is ready for me to add the ground turkey. Now in this pan, I'm cooking the 99% fat-free ground turkey with the non-fat-free ground turkey. I like to mix them up fully cooked so that there's no paint. Every now and then I'm going to constantly break down the meat so that there won't be no paint remaining. I'm gonna add two cups of beans. And I have some more in this bowl so that I can puree it. I'm gonna let that simmer. And once that simmer and mix in, I like to allow the flavors of the garlic and the onions to seep into the beans that give it, that gives it the nice flavor. Some mushrooms that I purchased, some baby Bella mushrooms that I purchased from Trader Joe's and the white button mushrooms that I purchased. I'm gonna slice it up and put that in the same pan with the beans. This is for the vegan dish. And ready to go in the pan with the beans. Cool. My life. Boom. Got him. 
As a brown rice boil, what I do is I wait till all of the water evaporate. Then that's when I turn the burners on low and apply a lid so that the rice can steam and fully cook. That just mix in the mushrooms. I didn't add any season. Now I'm gonna get ready to apply some season. Another version of soy sauce, but instead it's coconut. So that's going to be applied in this dish. Not a lot. Okay. I'm gonna mix that all in. Trader Joe's onion salt. You know I love this. Generous with this. This is not salty. Two tablespoons of this onion salt. Not all of the onion salts are the same, so just be mindful of that. You can see for the ground turkey, there is an absolutely no pink. Onion salt. Trey Joe's onion salt. No MSG Sazon. You guys know I love this. I always stick to simple ingredients. These, this makes my dish comes out amazing. So a tablespoon and a half. It's plenty. The water is starting to evaporate from the rice. So at this point, I'm going to turn the burner to low. And I'm gonna grab the lid and allow it to steam. Gonna allow that to steam. I should add some aluminum foil underneath to allow it to steam. The beans and the mushrooms are cooking. This looks so good. Ground cumin. One and a half cup of beans per serving. And now going to pour that, mix that in. Add a, a piece of aluminum foil to the rice so that that can fully cook. Now onto the ground turkey. Going to put some of this beans on here. The puree beans. And to top this off, I'm going to add, add a half a tablespoon of ground cumin. And just allow the sauce to thicken and simmer. If you like your food a little spicy, you can always add some cayenne pepper and see how the sauce is thickened. I think that this is good enough. That's nice and thick. Now I just have to wait for the brown rice to finish cooking. And that's it. This was really fast and it only took 30 minutes to prepare everything. And I cooked two dishes. So really to prepare this is only 15 minutes. Ground turkey with puree pinto beans. Easy way to just spice up your meals if you're bored and tired of eating the same thing. This is a recipe that you can try out. Let me put the plate together. I have the omnivore dish here, the vegan dish here, and I'm gonna try both of them to see what they taste like. And let's check it out. Now this is the omnivore plate, the ground turkey with the puree beans. It's really good. Mm. That came out really nice. Okay. And this is all for you guys. This right here is the portobello mushrooms with the puree beans and the yellow brown rice. Mm, mm, mm. 
mm, mm, mm. And you know, beans and brown rice make a complete protein. So this is one of the, this is one of the benefits of incorporating beans and brown rice. I like to spice up my brown rice so it won't be plain and boring. Most of these recipes that you see that I've created, they come from the top of my head. These recipes, I don't look up. I just go in the kitchen, make whatever I feel like making, and this is how it comes out. And this, actually, I made the ground turkey with the beans. It was like a taco night. Everybody loved it. I had the, the shredded lettuce. I had the, um, the cheese. The only difference is with this one, it's a healthier version. You can add cheese if you're throwing a party or if you want to to spice things up a little bit if it fits in your macro feel free to do that but as for now right now i'm not going to add any cheese because i have the avocado here as a healthier fat so i hope you guys enjoyed the video i hope i was able to help you out with a healthier dish to create a healthier recipe please don't forget to like the video this is how youtube know that this is an actual video it's not some generic video that's being posted so please hit the like button all of the links to my social media handles and my website is in the description. Feel free to click that. Subscribe my, to my channel for informative information for healthier recipes and exercise routines. Stay tuned. Take care. Stay healthy. I'll see you next time.